Eric, um, I've had to go to my police department, file a report about my Epiphone. You've had it way too long, man. All right, way too long. So I had them drop an official police document. How do I know it's official? Because there are signatures back here. You know, signatures mean the document's official, right? Okay, so the official police document says return to damn Epiphone. All right, um, this is a pretty hefty document here. So let me get to the page I need to get to. Where's that? Ah, here it is. Okay. I've underlined it so I know exactly what to say. It says, Epiphone held hostage to the guitar kidnapper, which is you, sir. Ah. Eric must comply with this document to release George's guitar. Eric will have 365 days from today's date to return it. If it is not returned by then, Eric's refrigerator will be filled with cucumbers. Eric's punishment will be to help his local police force catch the cucumber bandit. So, sir, if I do not have my guitar back in my hands within the time stated in this here official document, and like I said, we know it's official because it's signed, all right? <clears throat> if I do not have my guitar back in my hands by the time stated in this official document, your refrigerator will be filled with cucumbers. You will be helping your local police force catch the cucumber bandit. So, I suggest you get my guitar back to me within the time stated of this document. Thank you and have a good day, sir. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. As you can see, I have a very large box next to me with a shape of a guitar case or whatnot on it. This is George's Epiphone Riviera that I've had uh, held hostage for quite a while now. And by law, I must return it, at least the paperwork that George has sent me. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, so I think it's about time I give it back to him. So right now, I want to take this time and thank George for letting me and trusting me working on his guitars. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be working on more of his guitars in the future and hopefully other people's as well. So thank you, George. And uh, uh, thank you for the paperwork that you sent me. Um, they were hand delivered by my local police. And uh, Yes, so I will be sending this back to you as soon as possible. So right now, let's get it to them. You know, sure would be nice to have my guitar right about now. Yep. Mm-hmm. George? 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 Yeah, no, that's nothing. <sighs> Thought I heard Eric's voice. Uh -huh. But yes, it sure would be nice to have that guitar right about. George. 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 Hey, Eric. Oh, man. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So I unboxed the guitar. Yeah. So it's beautiful, Eric. Beautiful. It looks better now than it did before I sent it to you. <clears throat> awesome job. I like the roller bridge. It feels nice. That B string doesn't buzz back here like it used to. It's a, oh, I love it. And when I was tuning it up, uh, there was no binding of the, the, the strings up here on the nut. That was awesome. It was nice, smooth. I haven't tried the Bigsby yet, so I, I don't really use the Bigsby, but I haven't tried that yet. Um, I'm sure it works, but it's beautiful. Oh man, is it gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, and also the letter. All right, it says, Dear George, I have to say thank you. It has been fun working on your guitars and great that you trust me with them. I can no longer hold your guitar hostage because I am running out of room for all the guitars I have now. It was either give your guitar back to you or sell it. I'm sure you really didn't want me to choose option two. I'm sure I could have gotten a good dollar for yours, but I know you would miss the guitar and be pissed at me. Your friend, Eric C. P.S. Remember to sub, share, and like and dislike. <laughs> no, Eric, thank you, sir. I appreciate the work you've done on both the guitars I sent you. This is amazing. Amazing. <clears throat> All right, good, sir. Mm -hmm.
Well, thank you.